Hello and welcome to my series on lessons on CERN route for nuclear physics data analysis. In this uh, series of videos, I shall be trying to run you through some basic understanding of how you can work with CERN route for your data analysis for nuclear physics experiments. So here we need to have some background first in order to work on these lessons. Uh, you need to be, first of all, you need to be an experimental nuclear physicist. So you should have been working with uh, experiments taken, data taken at labs such as IUAC or uh, uh, TIFR, BRC or uh, some labs like or, or at VECC Kolkata or any other nuclear physics laboratory where we acquired data. So you should have been acquiring data with the digital uh, DAC system or maybe with the VME system and in the old days it used to be COMAX systems. So this is the type of data that you are trying to work on for your analysis. In order to do this kind of analysis, uh, you have to be completely familiar with coding in C++ because that's what the CERN root is based on. You can't work on root unless you have a complete solid background in coding in C++. Now, what you are going to deal with in the analysis work is that there are going to be three types of data essentially. You have to work with one dimensional histograms. Uh, you have to work with two dimensional histograms. There are also three dimensional histograms, uh, but uh, we won't generally be needing those for our analysis work on simplified analysis, which we need for uh, nuclear physics data. And uh, the main, the, the really the data is uh, actually consisting of root trees. So there are trees which contain the list data. The list data is actually the content of your uh, ADC, TDC streams. If you are talking about uh, GAMAC or VME. And in the case of digital data, it is similar. There are physics variables which have been uh, stored in a digital form. So these uh, can be understood as uh, trees uh, in root. So this is the type of data, data that we are going to deal with. And our lessons will take you through how you will deal with uh, the data and how you will build these histograms from the data and work with them to get your uh, physics results. So there are actually, before you start with root, uh, you should understand that it's a bit confusing because uh, there are actually four ways in which you can run root. Actually three ways. The fourth is uh, sort of a part of the third uh, way itself. But unless you know before you start, you may be confused when you read or see other videos about certain root, uh, about how we are running root. So this uh, confusion can be cleared because uh, when you start uh, in, on day one, you will be actually working with the command line or the command line interpreter, also called a CLI. So you start root by typing root on the Linux uh, command prompt, and that starts root's command line interpreter. And on this command line interpreter, you can type your commands one by one and root executes these commands. These lines are similar to C++ lines. So you need to be familiar with C++ and you write these uh, lines on the command line and uh, root interprets them and executes them uh, one line at a time. But this is not how you will be working with root later on. This is mostly for demonstration and initial orientation and also for your testing and trying out of commands. Uh, later on, uh, you will have a collection of commands. That means uh, just running one line of command isn't going to be helpful for you to do your work. So you will actually be running a sequence of commands and you can store these sequence of commands beforehand 
in a file and that's this sequence of command is called as a macro a macro uh, looks like a skeleton c++ program that means it resembles a c++ program but doesn't have in it the header declarations and the namespace declarations for example uh, so that's uh, uh, that's called a macro so, so well, as you get used to running root very often uh, you'll be running macros macros could be a macro that you've written yourself or you could be sharing this macro with a friend or you could be receiving this macro you could be downloading it from uh, a website and you would get used to running uh, macros. But once you have got past that stage, you will notice that it's not really the macro, but a complete C++ program, uh, which you need to work with. A, C, a complete C++ program will be compiled uh, in a similar way to compiling any other C++ program, but it has to be linked with the root libraries. So how do you do that? That all will be discussed in this uh, series of lectures. And eventually, when you have learned how to write this complete uh, C++ program, you will know that it can be slightly touched up so that it looks like uh, it could be used either as a macro or as a complete program. So sometimes you need to run the same uh, work uh, as a complete program. That's the fastest in terms of execution speed. But occasionally, you need to debug that or you need to work on it a little bit or you need to change something in it. And at that stage, you wish that it wasn't a complete program, but actually a macro so that you could make uh, and test changes in it. And when it's really ready, uh, you would convert it into a complete program. So I recommend that from day one, you learn how to write a complete program, which also works as a macro. And that's called a dual use uh, macro. It only involves writing two extra lines in that uh, file. So once you learn this last one, the dual use macro complete program, that will become your real workhorse. You would still need to know how to use the command line because while you're developing this complete program, uh, you need to test some lines one by one. Sometimes you need to test several lines at one time. So that's the macro. So you need really to be familiar with all these uh, technologies of uh, ways of not technologies, but really ways of running root. So I leave you with this and then we go on to the series of lessons. Uh, the lessons are of increasing order of difficulty. So initially we start very simple and then we gradually uh, go on to more detailed work. Thank you very much and uh, best of luck in your uh, uh, journey with root and enjoy the lessons. Thank you.